Hey everyone, welcome back to the final part of our token ICO DAP project. In the last three part, we have completed our entire project and now we're going to split. This is where we left in the last video. So I want you to come back here in the constants, go back here. And I have already given you this image logo, which we're going to add in the MetaMask. So in your case, you have to provide your, but in the startup file, I have given my, so you can simply copy. And that's what you have to provide here. That's what you have to provide. If you want to know what is this logo, you can simply copy this one and you can simply come back, open up your browser and you can see paste here, hit enter and here we have the logo of the token. If you don't know how to upload the logo of your application, you can simply come back to the blockchain coder. There you will find tons of projects we have built on our channel. There we are simply uploading our logo and creating the ERC20 token. So you can simply watch this project, this project or this project. In this project, I have said that how you can create your token and deploy all the metadata on the decentralized IPFS. So make sure to check this one. Now you have seen that and I want to come back to the code. So we have done all the setting here in that. So we don't need to do anything. Simply come back here, go back to the component and inside the component, we have this transfer token. And here we're going to do a little bit fix. So this is fine. This is the token. This is good. Now I can simply come back to the input fill. So this is the send to and this will be the amount. So say amount that's what you have to do and i see this is the one problem i have done so i have to simply copy this one and that's what i have to simply provide here i hope you guys have noticed this do this so this is the first input field we got it for the amount this is the second one is the address and this is the one we have and simply do the changes here as well perfect so we got all of that now we are ready to test our feature. If you come back here, this is the event we have. We are simply calling this function in that we are passing all of this information. So if you come back here in the context, go back to the, let's say index, there you will have this particular function. So this is the fetch and here we have the transfer token. So we are passing all of this information. We are getting all of this information. You can literally call whatever you want. So this is what I called and that's what I'm sending here as a transfer that's what i'm going to receive i'm deconstructing the token address send to amount and that's what i'm doing here make sure to check the exact spelling which you have provided so this is the send to because this is what exactly we're going to receive check double check and the last one is going to be the address perfect so everything is looking good. Now we are ready to test our application. So what I will do, I'll simply come back here and I need to get the token address. So I can simply come back here. And this is the ERC20 token address, which we have deployed. This is the owner address and this is our ICO contract address. So I want to transfer the token to our ICO contract because there is currently zero supply. So if I come back static method, so we have two options. We can first deploy our code to get up and from there we can simply import the code to Netlify and then we can simply deploy. You can do in that way in the next year's frame, but I'm going to use the another framework, which is called static generation. So I'm going to convert this entire pages, entire project into a static file. And that file we're going to simply import to our Netlify as a HTML file. So you can use the same process if you want to deploy your project to cPanel or WordPress. So that's going to have a, you will have a broad options to use any other provider. So this is all I have. I can simply come back to my JSON file and here we have to do a little bit changes. So first thing we have to simply open and stop our application. And this is what we are going to write couple of command. So to generate the static file, we have to do the changes in our build command. So we can come back here, make sure to do exactly and type next export export. So this is what you have to add. And this is the command we're going to run it. So this is the command we have to run. Open up your terminal and simply type npm run build and hit enter it's going to generate the static file so this process might takes a little bit time you can see it's optimizing my code i'm getting a lot of this don't need to worry about it soon it's going to generate me this out folder so here you can see we got it perfectly and once it will generate so you can say next export command has been removed in the favor of output export in the next just config file so this is the changes we have to do so let's simply copy and let's see what exactly it suggests us. So I'll simply copy that one and now we can simply come back to the browser. And I can see this is the next build. Here I can call this config file called output is going to be export. So this is the one I can simply add it. So I can simply come back here, 
go back to the next JS config and here we have this one so I can simply add this as well perfect got it now that's what it said us to do we got it now I can simply clear it up and let's run the command one more time let's bring it up and let's run the build command hit enter and this time is going to generate the file and it's going to give us the out folder so you can see we got the out folder so this is a very important skills you have to know that how you can deal with this kind of situation it's not an error you have to do the configuration properly so we got this out folder you can see export we can come back here here we have the entire code of our application everything is got compiled successfully let's go look close all of that and you can see this is all the code of our project this is the 404 this is the html if you come back to the assets in that we have all the assets all the javascript everything's looking good so this is the folder we have to deploy and you can see if i come back here in the moment i will save my code is going to simply format it because i have prettier install in my extension so make sure to install the prettier which is a very good extension so to install you can come back here and you can simply type prettier and you will have it let's try to deploy our application so we got this now close this one now you can simply come back here open a new type type netlify so come here type net netlify and click on the very first link it's a very powerful platform which will allow you to upload the application for free i'll click on the reject so make sure to create your account it will have multiple options like connecting with github or you can go with the email id but i already have my account so i will simply logged in so i'll click on this login and once i will come back to my dashboard there you will find all the project which i have deployed bunch of project which i have deployed these are the pro project which i have deployed on the nft marketplace that's all you will find here let's close this one so to deploy our application with the static file we can simply click on this add new site and here you will have a bunch of options you can simply click and you can simply import your files you can put your project from github gitlab or any one of this provider i'll simply go back here come here and now i'm going to deploy manually deploy manually click here and here we have to simply drag and drop the folder so we can simply click here and we can go back to the desktop and here we have our application click on the starter file in that you will have this click on this and here we have the out folder actually not this one i have opened the wrong folder come back here there is the starter file and here we have the out folder so make sure to open the exact folder where we are coding so this is the starter folder and here we have the out folder so simply select this one and click on upload and click on upload and it's going to take few minutes sometime it will happen quickly sometime it's happen a little late so just wait once it will deploy don't refresh your browser otherwise the deployment will be cancelled so just wait once it will deploy it will take you back to your dashboard and there you can easily able to do and do all the setups for your application so just wait it's uploading our application it's going to happen very quickly and we'll have all of these details about our application all the files are successfully deployed now you can come back to the site configuration and i want you to change the name of your application so you can simply click on this change site and this is the name of my url i can change to whatever i want i'll say dolat dash ico dash da pdap you can call whatever you want so this is my url i click on the save and it's going to check whether this particular url is available or not if it's available it's going to generate otherwise it will single thing is working fine i want you to simply follow the complete project try to rebuild try to rewatch try to rebuild every single thing in that way you will understand that how you can build a d5 project because this is very powerful project and very common project you will find because 90 percent of the project you will find around this token ico or pre sale app so make sure to build this complete project. So I hope you guys have got the complete idea that what we have built and how we have built and finally we have completed the entire project. You can simply come back to the source code section. There you will find all the project we have, all the project we have. So build at least five projects, NFT marketplace, chat application, Unisop clone. We have tons of projects, staking dApp. This will help you to understand how you can include this. You can also build this AI model, which will allow you to integrate in the AI model in your Web3 project. So make sure to come back here simply go back to this particular section click here get now so you can get the final source code or you can get the startup file and simply follow the complete project and here i have explained you that how you can do the setup when you will get the final source code so you can simply watch this video as well so that's the only thing from my end if you have any question in doubt do let me in the comment section i'll definitely try to help you in that with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye bye